Hey everyone, today I wanted to go over the new and extremely exciting news that we have for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak on both the Nintendo Switch and PC via Steam. However, later today, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC Windows players should be able to get a nice surprise as hopefully the release of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is set to be revealed during the Capcom Digital Presentation event where we are expecting it to drop at the very least in early April. So essentially today what we're going to be checking out is the fact that a brand new wave of event quests has dropped. Um, and one of them is really interesting uh, for multiple reasons. I guess lore related reasons. Also the rewards are kind of okay, but we'll get to that in a second. So if you still don't necessarily know how to get your hands on any sort of event quests or downloadable item packs, all you need to do is make your way down to Steelworks or Elgato, speak to the Courier Cat, go all the way down to the add-ons options, and claim anything that's labeled in white, whether it is event quests, downloadable item packs, or anything in between. One of those will be an event quest called Cooling the Caverns, with, of course, the latest free title update number four edition, uh, which is, of course, Volcana. Interestingly enough, though, this is a Volcana and the Lava Caverns. Now, the thing here is that a lot of people haven't necessarily seen this monster uh, in the Lava Caverns. Chances are you haven't necessarily seen it outside of the Frost Isles, and that is because it is a roamer, essentially kind of like Bezel Geese, Furious Rajangs, uh, and uh, Crimson Glow Valstrax. So there is a off chance that if you have that icon on the quest uh, upper left side, where it just kind of has a question mark, uh, you have an invader monster kind of just appearing randomly, there is a good chance that Volcana could appear in any of the maps, not just specifically the Frost Isles or even the Lava Caverns, in any of them. However, um, there's a pretty good chance you haven't necessarily seen it in many of the maps, like the jungle, for example, or here in the Lava Caverns, since it's pretty much, I don't believe it has a dedicated quest to it up until now. So this brand new edition of this quest finally puts this monster originally appearing in the Lava Caverns without having to be an invader type. Now, as far as the quest directly is concerned, it doesn't necessarily seem to have any sort of boosted parameters. It doesn't have any like high HP, high resistances, high damage, anything along those lines. Uh, it just seems to be a straight up Volcano fight. Of course, the good thing here is that, you know, if you haven't necessarily been farming Volcano, there's a good chance that doing this quest a couple of times, you know, maybe once or twice, uh, will get you some good material, especially if you don't have mantles and stuff like that. So certainly a good spot for that. There are some good drops uh, that you may want to keep your eyes peeled for uh, as you're finishing the quest. But presumably, you know, there's really no boosted parameters, no crowns either, which is a little bit of a surprise. Maybe a crown edition would have been a good way to go at the very least for a secondary type of reward for this brand new quest. With all that said, though, there is a good <laughs> reward, especially if you're uh, one of those players who are constantly complaining about rewards. And that is the fact that you're going to be able to get a couple of brand new gestures. Uh, cry number one and cry number two. Now, the rewards, you know, usually vary on these type of quests. They're, you know, here or there gestures. I don't necessarily have a problem with them. Usually layered armor are the best ones. We are getting three layered armor options. We already got one last week, if I remember correctly. Uh, so we have two more pending regarding this update. But for here, we just got, you know, um, uh, some gestures. The first one is just a crying gesture where your hunter kind of just gets under, um, crouches a little bit and begins to cry. Definitely a sad kind of looking gesture. The second one is the funnier one where they just kind of throw, throw a tantrum uh, they start complaining, especially if you have like uh, paid DLC voices, uh, your characters will start doing, you know, complaining, uh, you know, start saying things that you probably, lines that you haven't necessarily heard uh, the characters say in the past. So it's pretty funny to see it and, and then throw a little bit of a tantrum. I wouldn't necessarily call it a cry. I think cry and tantrum would have been better, but you know, they decided to go with cry one and cry two instead. So that is what we ended up getting. So that's pretty much all the information that I have for you guys today. I will be talking about the Hazard Event Quest at a later time. Certainly want to delve deeper into it because that is the true end game. You know, there's Anomaly Investigation Quests, you know, plus 211. I spoke about uh, the two monsters so far um, that I've covered, uh, Kushala Dora EX and Risen Kushala Dora DX and Risen Camellios EX. These are the two new, uh, you know, like most powerful versions of Anomaly Investigation versions. I will be talking about the Triostra one probably later this week. And when it comes to Hazard Event Quest, of course, uh, 
these are just going to be for monsters that usually don't have anomaly investigations except one more that we have pending so we're going to be talking about that at a greater uh, later date uh, and i want to go into more detail regarding that specific quest because there's a lot to go over there but for right now if you're brand new to my channel be sure to leave a like and subscribe hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up and as always thank you so much for watching see ya